love you. I gotta go. Alright. Oh, thanks. Be safe. Alright, I'll see you when you get home. Okay, be careful. Started. Got it all set up here. All right. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, as you know, tonight's Halloween, so the missus is out with the uh, parents handing out candy out there. I decided to show you some of the new gear that I'll be changing up coming the next week and a half. I'll be going up to the Guadalupe Mountains to be hiking for about five days. So, I ordered some gear the other day from Amazon, see what would come in. Cool things I ordered was some new stakes. This is the Tokes Titanium V-shaped tent. I bought these because basically for a while now I've been using the, uh, the MSR Groundhogs, which have been working really, really good. And then I've paired them with the Shepherd Hook. Now, these two work great if the ground is hard or but as soon as it becomes rainy, soft, the shiver hooks just give and the front of the tent just caves in or the wind blows super hard and they just, they, there's no grip to them at all. The groundhogs always worked really, really well, but I want to almost just work with the titanium V-shaped because I've heard these work really, really good and then pair them up with the groundhog and see how much better that works for my tent on this backpacking trip. So we're going to give these a shot and see how it goes. So uh, they come six to a pack, the titanium V-shaped tent packs. So there's six of them, so I'll pair those up with about four of the groundhogs, and I think we'll be uh, we'll be good to go. So and I'll just retire the uh, shepherd hook. So that's one thing that came in the mail. So I'll be changing it up here in the next. So the next thing I got was the Soto Anarchist. Give this one a try because I've seen other. Soto uh, stoves and they all looked really good and durable. So this one's a titanium high-tech compact stove and it has the igniter built in. Now the main stove that I've been using for quite some time has been the Pocket Rocket. Now, this thing has been my tried and true stove and I've probably put 300 miles on this guy. I mean he is like scorched. The end of it is just burned but he has been my best stove out of all the stoves I've ever owned. I have a B, uh, BRS right now, and then I've had this one, and I still like it over my BRS stove. Now, I also have the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe, so when I go car camping, it's fantastic for boiling that one liter of water, but most of the time, I'm just gonna stick to, you know, boiling my Tokes 550 uh, light, but uh, the replacement will be the Amicus. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it works. It's supposed to be really wind repellent and I won't have to carry matches with this. So that'll be uh, really, really nice. So if you wanna check that out, you can. It's a Soto Amicus. So it looks really cool. So I'm gonna give that a shot while on the trail as well. So the next thing, well, before we get to the next thing. So most people keep a headlamp with them. My choice of headlamp for a while now has been the Black Diamond Spot. It's worked really, really well. It runs off of two to three AAAs. I can't remember at the exact moment. But I want to try something new, try something different that uh, I don't see a lot of hikers and, or backpackers do. And that is a clip-on light. So that gave me the idea of picking up the Phoenix E16. So I'm gonna give this guy a try and see how well it works. It's got a nice little description here of like how long it takes for each mode and on low it it gives about two hours on high and 150 lumens it gives us 12 hours on medium which is about 30 lumens and about 110 hours on low now you can put two different batteries in it and you can either put the cr123 or you can put the 16340 which i've never heard of but both of them falls into this and it just kind of clips on your hat you see it kind of comes with a little clip there I'm gonna give it oops I'm gonna give it a try and see how it works as well all the gear that man it's storming bad outside man for Halloween it's 
It's been two years in a row since we've had a lot of thunderstorms. I wouldn't be surprised if electricity just goes out. Well, there went that, ladies and gentlemen. So, we're gonna go find and see if we can get that backup generator on the house running. We usually don't have outages, so I'm really surprised the lights are out. Alright guys, we're back. We got the generator back on. We got some lights back up in here. It's very limited, but we did get some lights. And um, definitely, um, and what was that? I hope you appreciate the video. And, uh... <laughs> 